this is Kelly from Bok Bok Bouquet. Today we're going to be talking about selecting five chicken breeds for a beginner flock. Before we get started, be advised, if you live in a climate with extreme cold temperatures, look for chicken breeds who don't have as large as a comb, especially in roosters, as they're more susceptible to frostbite, and you don't want to deal with that. First category we're going to go over is you're going to want a good laying breed, a high production breed. These are going to be your sex link, auto sexing kind of chickens like a production red, there's black sex link, red sex link, they also go by Isa Brown, red star, gold star, Did and <laughs> here's one right here, here's Dorothy, and she's our golden buff, golden comet, there's so many names these go by. They're a mixture of like a Rhode Island Red and a Lagern, and those are two other chicken breeds that are going to be a good high production breed for you too. Your Rhode Island Red, Lagern, Leghorn, however you want to say it. There's also Bard Rocks, Australorps. These high production breeds are going to give you so many eggs and you could actually just have a whole flock of only these. They're great chickens, fun personality. One of my favorites. Yes. She's kind of like your basic looking chicken, but she's one of the friendliest. They she's may one look of the plain, cutest. but they make great pet chickens and they're going to give you so many eggs. And a lot of love. She's got expressive eyes and that's why I love her. She's Dorothy. She's the best. Two, a blue egg layer to add some variety to your egg basket. Here's a cream leg bar, her name is Karen. They're a very friendly breed, they're very curious and they lay beautiful blue eggs. Another breed is an Easter Egger or an Americana. They lay blue to green eggs, they have big fuzzy beards and they're super friendly too. Like Monkey here, she's a bearded chicken and she lays a light green egg. If you add Easter Eggers to your flock, they might become some of your favorite chickens, great personalities and you'll get lots of fun eggs. And then this was what, an Americana mixed with the Bard Rock? Yeah, so she lays a green egg. The third category we're going over is maybe you want a good broody hen to have your little farm homestead be self-sufficient and hatch your own chicks. Silkies are very known to go broody and want to hatch eggs, and so are Orpingtons. And even if you don't want a good broody hen, Orpingtons are also high production layers and lay a bunch of good eggs. They're a great breed to have. Here's our model Lavender Orpington, Ethel here. And then Silkies, you, you can't have a flock of chickens without a silky. They make great pets, but if you're free ranging your birds, I would recommend maybe not go with a heavily crested one or a bearded one so they can see well. If you buy too big of a fur ball and they can't see, they could become prey to aerial predators. So be careful with silkies. Ethel, are you grumpy right now? She don't want to be on film. Common Orpington sold are lavenders and buffs. Those are the ones you'll see most often. She's pretty rare. Number four, get a friendly chicken breed if you want a lap chicken. Some of them are Easter, Easter Eggers, Salmon Favreaux, Speckled Sussex, Brahmas. There are these chicken breeds that are known to be friendly. But just like humans and their personalities, all chicken breeds can be very friendly chickens, but there are some breeds that are just known to be more friendly. And Morticia is one of them. She's an Easter egger and she's so sweet. Our Salmon Favorals is like a dog. And then we have our Speckled Sussex where they'll be in your business everywhere. No matter what we are, they're in our way, jumping on top of everything. Ricardo's building stuff. They're up on the workbench. Whatever we're doing, they're involved. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get them involved right now. Let's see if she'll come. And this is Annie here. This is Speckled Sussex. They follow us everywhere. They let us pick them up. They're easy. Generally easy to catch. And I just really wanted some of these. They're actually... This will lead us into our next feature. Number five, your dream chicken. I really wanted a Speckled Sussex and we got a couple here. We've got Annie and Gretel. These are his Christmas. These were his Christmas presents and he I, absolutely in love. So Speckled Sussex was his dream chicken. Mine was a Tollbunt Frizzle Polish. And actually now that I have one, my new dream chicken, kind of looks like Morticia here. I really want a Favacana. It's a mixture of a blue Americana with the beard and a Salmon Favorals. But you could just go look on a hatchery website, go browse through all the breeds they have. Select your dream chicken. And Ozzy here, he was another one of my dream chickens. He's an all black chicken. I am Samani, mm -hmm. which actually translates in Indonesian to thoroughly black chicken. <laughs> yeah, like he was one of our dream chickens and we have him. We got him when he was a chick, so we thought it was going to be a hen. He turned out to be a boy, so we kept his name Ozzy Osbourne, Prince of Darkness, and we love him. He's a silly boy. 
Well, I hope this video helps you guys select five chicken breeds for your flock. We hope it helps and actually didn't make it more confusing, but these are chicken breeds we think everyone should consider. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date with all of our newest uploads. Usually on Sundays, unless we got something going on, but usually Sundays when we drop videos. So hit that bell notification. You'll be notified when we have a new video. Yeah. And um, check out some of our other videos. They'll be somewhere here, yeah. there, down there, <laughs> somewhere. But thanks for watching. We'll see you guys thanks. next time. Bye.